Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel, and it's Budget Monday on my channel. So, I have decided the way that I'm going to film this, and I hope it works out for us. So, I get paid on Thursdays. Disclaimer, I am not going to be sharing my entire, all my finances. I'm going to share a portion of my income and how I am using that. So, I've basically budgeted myself down to an amount that I think I can work and get roughly about $14,000 worth of debt paid off by the end of 2022. So that is my goal. In total, what I'm trying to pay off is about $18,000. Um, and that is just, you know, um, some credit cards. We've done some home improvements and, and Home Depot and stuff like that. Um, my Discover card uh, for vacations and some sinking funds that I want to start stuffing. Uh, also, it's a couple rental properties that I own that that will be included. So... I'll kind of break it down as I go through, but since I get paid on Thursdays, and I get paid, um, so this is going to be my overview for when I, for just December 30th, and this is going up today, Monday the 3rd, so on Monday the 10th, I'm going to, we're going to go through and do like the check-in from December 30th paycheck, and the week after that up until January 6th when I would get my next paycheck. So it'll be from the 30th to the 5th. So it's always going to be from the Thursday to the following Wednesday to see if I kept within my budget and how I need to tweak it. So that I want to be very transparent and clear. So I'm going to show you a couple things that I did get set up in here. So I did go through and I put all my memberships and subscriptions. I have wrote out Everything that I want to pay off along with some doctor's bills and then like my five year and my ten year. So there. And then I did fill out this part right here, which I do have these really cool little pilot color something. I can't read this one, but um, they're clicky colored pencils. I have ordered some erasable pins because all of mine don't work anymore. Who knew? So and these are my sinking funds, and this is probably going to be tweaked as well, which is why I wanted to use a pencil, because you will see on this first check-in, a whiteout was the thing. So I have my Christmas, which I have 50, but that's probably going to get bumped up. Um, like I said, I don't even know if this is like whiting, washing it out or not. I have 50 for Christmas, 50 for vacation, 25 for savings, 25 for uh, emergency, and this says the monthly amount, but I'm going to actually try to do that weekly. And then... I do want, I need a new pair of glasses, and instead of just paying for it, I'm going to save up for them, because the glasses I have work, I just want a new pair. So I'm going to need new glasses for me, uh, a new mattress for my kid, because I feel like he needs one. Um, then I'm going to have an ongoing grocery one where I can buy groceries, and then the home one, just in case of anything that happens when we start doing the remodeling more so. So I don't have any of that yet because I haven't done anything. I did not do yearly spending yet. Didn't do yearly balance. So here is the bills that I am working on only. Now you will notice red is everything that I pay. And so like my insurance bill, um, a portion of that is my son's. So he's in blue. So he pays that a month. The, and then here's the cell phones, the black, a portion of that my husband pays, and pink, a portion of my cell phone bill my mom pays, because it's her, her and my dad's phone. So those are just the different things, and how I'm going to get extra income for those bills. Um, over here is our, our medical, we have $600 in medical debt. I know, right? Here is how I'm planning on paying off three major problems that I have. Amazon. Who doesn't have a problem with Amazon? And I do have a 0% interest um, credit card, so that has been used. So I plan on having the $1,500 paid off by February. Then my Discover is almost $6,000. That is actually 0% until August of 2022. I plan on having that paid off by July. I do have a Prosper loan. Um, when I went through the divorce, I kind of ended up with a lot of debt, and I had to do what I had to do, being a single mom, to make things work. Um, so I took out a loan to pay off all of my other credit cards that I no longer have because that worked out for me. However, it's an 18.5% interest rate. So, but these, 
since there's zero and I know everybody's gonna be like, no, I don't want to pay the interest on these because after April 2022, I'm gonna get hit with the interest on this. After August of 2022, I'm gonna get hit with the interest on this. Now, yes, the interest is like under 2% on both of them. I still don't want to pay it, okay? So I will work on this one third. This one I should have paid down to about $1,600 by the end of the year. So that is how I figure that with all my monthly calculations. We'll see if that's correct. And then you go into January. Here is my month overview. I use this to write down when bills are done. I'm in red. My husband's in black. My son is in blue and our income is in green. It's not a full picture because this is only what I was willing to share. Um, the only reason that my husband is on there is because he takes care of the mortgage and I like to make sure it gets paid, so I always remind him. And the cell phone bills and a portion of one of the car payments. So everything else he takes care of. I know. All right, so here is my first budget breakdown, right? So this is just what I'm estimating. Next Monday, we'll come in and see how well I did, right? So I'm estimating that I'm going to have about $150 rollover from the previous week. Estimating this is what I'm going to, somewhere in that range, take out of my paycheck to do this with. The rest of it will go in, into a different account. And then family, <laughs> that's just um, basically what my son has borrowed my husband from me. Like, it's just a very weird situation. I'm not going to really explain it. Um, but yeah, so that is like a rollover of everything that we have done. So it's about total of all of those three. I'm saying it's going to be about $1,325. So for this paycheck this week alone, I have a state farm bill, which is a hundred and I'm estimating at 154. I do have the actual one. I wrote that down. It's 158 98. I'm going to pay $145 on my discover card. I'm going to pay 50 on my Amazon and 25 on my home Depot, which actually this one's the Home Depot. I stopped right here in December. My bad. The Prosper, I'm going to have $1,200 in December. Home Depot, I'll have $1,600. Home Depot is also 0%, but it's in there at the beginning because I have three different 0%, and this first one for $360 will be done in uh, May of 2022. I don't want to pay interest on that. And then this next one here, it's not up until November of 2023, so it wasn't a priority at that point. I still have like two years to get this one paid down. So that's why this got hit heavily more with the bills. But I do make weekly payments to all of these. I know, I make one big monthly payment and then weekly payments. It's I've been budgeting for a while to get my stuff down. And in 2017, I started with almost $100,000 in debt. Let's just be honest. This is where we're at. <laughs> I have worked my tail off. I had plummeting credit scores. So we're going to go no debt is what I want. So my bills for the week are $374. So estimate after all that's paid, I should have $951. Eh. Then I'm going to budget. I've budgeted my food, my gas, miscellaneous, and fun. And that is, they call them envelopes, but I'm just calling it spending money. I don't use cash. So, obviously, my food's going to come out of my checking accounts, my gas, because I'll pay at the pump. Uh, that's who I am. That's how I'm going to be. Um, I'm not going to walk into the gas station. I don't know. So, I figure 10825 for my portion of the food. My husband picks up the most of it. So, this is basically if I need to pick something up or I'm out and I want to get something to eat. Um, gas, $54.00. I only drive into work three days a week. That should be enough unless got gas really skyrockets. And then I just have $25 for miscellaneous and $25 for fun. So if I want to buy some crafty stuff, they would kind of, I would kind of combine them, but you know, you never know. So after that $212.25 comes out, I would have $738.75 left over. So then we go into the sinking funds. I do have them all wrote down, but these right here, the glasses, mattress, groceries, house, I want to get a scanning cut and a Gemini Junior, so I have sinking funds for them as well, because normally I would just go and buy and charge it on a card and figure out how to pay it off later, but I'm going to make myself work for it. I'm going to save for these. So those don't have anything. If this money becomes extra and I get down here and this is, you know, $269 left over or more, 
Then we're going to come and we're going to stuff some of these. I'll have my husband pull cash back out or pay off more of my credit card debt. So I'm going to put 50 in Christmas, 50 in vacation, 25 in savings, and 25 in emergency fund. That will be cash stuffed into envelopes. They should be here on January 6th. Um, and that's going to go in my cute little yellow Filofax. That's where I'm going to keep my cash stuffing. But I'm not going to keep a lot of cash in my house, just so everyone knows. If you feel like robbing me, it won't be here. And then extra payments. So at that point, I should roughly have $588.75 left over. I have a Credit One credit card payment. The total bill is $93.83. I'm going to pay that off this week, hopefully. And then that's one credit card gone. I'm going to put another additional 100 on my Discover and my Amazon. Now I might switch that up and put 200 on Amazon because that's the one I'm trying to pay off first and put nothing extra on the Discover since I'm already putting $145 on it. So at that point, after we take out that $293.83, I'll have $294.92 left over. I'm going to put $25 in my physical savings account and I would have $269.92 left over. So if that's the case, to be honest, I will probably come up here and put an additional $200 on that Amazon and roll over the $69.92 into next week. That is my plan. Fingers crossed that it works out. And then this is just my thoughts on I have to make a list for my husband to get the cash out. So I just want him to get two fifties, two twenties, and two fives, and then I will stuff with you guys as well. So that is it. Let me know what you think of my plan. Do you think it is doable? Do you think I am stretching myself too far? Do you think the way that I have myself budgeted? You know, just let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next Monday with another video. Bye.